the Golden Caliper for the 1998 Car of the Year. Plus, the Welcome to this edition of Motor Trend and the biggest event of the year. I'm Jim Scouten, and today we award the Golden Caliper, the Motor Trend symbol of excellence. There are years when it is not an easy choice, years when the debate goes on for many days, but not this year. This time, the engineering, the performance, and the skillful new interpretation of a proud heritage meant it would require very little debate to choose the winner. It's my pleasure to introduce the 1998 Motor Trend Car of the Year, the Chevrolet Corvette. It may be the most tested car we've ever considered, beginning with the introduction in the spring of 97 when Chevy offered Road Atlanta for hot laps. Confident the fifth generation Corvette was far and away the best bet yet. Since then, we've compared it to exotics costing more than three times as much. We've run countless tests against the clock, checking acceleration, and we've flown low and incredibly stable, flat out at 169 miles per hour. The results were always the same, wide grins and world-class numbers. But there was something else. Besides the performance, we were also much more comfortable than ever before. The Corvette team had done what was thought to be impossible, pushing the performance envelope and making America's sports car a friendly daily driver. For 45 years, Corvette has been America's sports car, but never before has its performance been combined with such incredible comfort. Toss in the high technology design and bargain price tag, and the Corvette redefines what a sports car can be. The showcase technology has to begin with a new LS1 small block, still 5.7 liters and still pushrod operated for packaging efficiency. But now with solid state drive-by-wire throttle control, and now with 345 horses and 350 foot-pounds of torque. Good for 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds and a quarter mile of 13.2 at 109 miles per hour. Not only leaving the pricier Japanese competitors in the dust, but making the C5 the fastest street legal car in America under $40,000. Long gone are the days when the Corvette was only a drag strip wonder. The C5 is a handler with world-class numbers through the slalom. The reason is the clean sheet chassis mounting the LS1 in front and your choice of four-speed auto or six-speed manual in the rear. That sets up a nearly perfect weight distribution and neutral handling to match. The balance on the new Corvette is phenomenal. 49.51 weight distribution transmission in the rear. It is a hoot to drive through the slalom. But the real reason for the torque tube connection through the box center chassis is comfort. Moving the transmission produces a huge increase in interior space. And the new chassis with hydroform perimeter rails is not only easier to live with, it's also four and a half times stiffer than the previous car. The rest of the interior story is comfort for two in adjustable leather buckets, controls that are perfectly placed for the driver with a match set of analog gauges reporting the action. And there's space to bring your bags on that cross-country run, 25 cubic feet under the coupe's full-width hatch, and better than 13 cubic feet in the convertible's trunk that returns for the first time since 1962. The exterior design picks up all the significant Corvette styling cues from the past, from the split grille of the C4 to the side vents from the C2 series. And the waterfall is back between the seats of the convertible, taken from 53 to 62 Corvettes. But while keeping an eye on the past, the engineers produced a design with best-of-class aerodynamics with no need for wings and add-ons. It's a remarkable combination that will welcome you every day with its practical comfort, space, and ride. With world-class performance in reserve, anytime you feel like switching off traction control. Well, you can tell your family you bought a new Corvette because, well, it's more comfortable and gets really good gas mileage and all that. But you and I know it's just because it is a lot of tire smoking. Woo! 
one indeed that by all rights in 1998 should cost far more than Chevy wants. It's sticker shock in reverse to find the C5 with its tremendous improvements in performance, comfort, and ride now costs less than the previous generation. Base price for the coupe, $37,500, with the convertible price at $7,000 more at $44,425. Together, they are an extraordinary value, and together they redefine the future of sports cars for the next century. There is no question the Corvette team richly deserves the golden caliper, and no question the C5 is America's best sports car. Congratulations to everyone at Chevrolet for creating the new Corvette Motor Trend 1998 Car of the Year.